Good afternoon, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Terrell, and I'm going to teach you how to make a face mask. We were in dire need of them, and um, I thought you guys would really like to do this. It's really easy. They look like this, all finished. You put them on, and it covers up everything for you, and you can actually be heard. Uh, so if you sneeze or something, it catches it. That's what's so important about them. I have um, adult sizes and children's sizes that need to be sewn, but um, I'm going to show you how to do uh, an adult one. And it's okay, think about making a pillow. This is what it's going to be like. And remember, we take the good parts and we put them together this way. So this is the way you're going to have it, a rectangle. This is nine inches wide, and it's six inches down. Now we're going to take our elastic, and we're going to take one pin. You just need one pin. And you're going to put it in the corner. Make sure the, the elastic is flat, like this. And then you're going to bring it over to the other corner at the bottom. You take one pin and put it in. Make sure the elastic is not bent and it's going to stay like that. We're going to fold this over to here and we're going to put a pin right here so that you don't sew over that elastic. Now we're going to go to the next cor corners which is on the other side we're going to be putting them in just like this again. Another pin, just one. And then you're going to bring it to the other corner and see how I have it flat? <clears throat> you want to make sure it's still flat. Take one pin. And you can turn it around in order to get to it. The first time you make this, you'll have to really follow the directions. So then you follow it back, fold it back over, take another pin and put it up where the elastic is so you will not sew on it. Okay, now that you have all the corners done, we are going to pin, take two pins, just two pins to the top, put one in there like that, and put another one in there like that. So it looks like this. Then you're going to turn it. Remember how we have to leave room for stuffing? Well, you're leaving room so you can turn this inside out. So we're going to put a pin here. It's only going to be about two inches that you are going to have. And then we're going to start sewing just like we do a pillow. Okay, I'm putting my presser foot down, and we are make sure that we go back, we go forward and then back, and then all the way to there, to that next corner. You take your pin out, and then you're going to go forward, then you're going to pick up your presser foot, turn it, and then sew straight down. And you're going to stop, take out the pin, and go to the end, pick up your press of foot again. Okay, we're all done <clears throat> with the sewing. We stopped. We have our little opening here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, just like you always do, and you pull it out. You can use the elastic to bring it out. And what happens is you got this. So what you do is you finger iron. I know you like to finger iron. This whole thing like that. Make sure the elastics are out. The corners are neat. 
And yes, I know I didn't cut my corners, but they're so close that we don't want them to fray. <clears throat> and now what you're going to do is we're going to sew, you're going to sew all the way around the outside. So I came up across, we're going to go all the way across on all four sides. It's a little tough over the elastic, but I know you can do it. You can just, just pull it. Just pull it. There you go. Okay, so can you see the, I edged the whole thing, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make the pleats. Now when you make the pleats, you have to make sure they go in the same direction. So you're going to take, I just fold it like this, just like that, and you're going to take a pin, put it here, and a pin here. And then you're going to do, so we, we have to do three of these. So you put this one here like that. And they all have to go the same way. Now I know the pins aren't going the same way, but we'll fix that after. Let me get one more. Yes, I pinched myself with the pin. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. And what you're going to do is we're going to sew down this side and just that side. Okay, I made my pleats. As you can see, they're like that. So what I'm going to do now is I have these pins facing out that way, so I'm going to do these first. And all you have to do is keep them like this. We're making pleats. So we're going to put the press a foot down. We're going to start it to sew. I'm going to back tap. Don't forget to back tap. Always back tap. And we're going to go forward. Now, you put your needles far enough away, they will not touch them, and they'll keep them right in, in the spot. And then you back tack, and that side's done. Okay, so this is completed. Um, the other step that you have to do after all the pleats are done is you're going to, we've been asked by the, um, the people that we're making these for, the hospitals, to go around it again over the, the seam that you already did. And that makes it a lot more sturdier. So, we will have packages. These are a package that you will get. This is an adult size one. There's two masks in here and four pieces of elastic. Now, if you want to do this, we are going to have them at the birdhouse on Friday so that you can pick up and you can do children's or adults and you can do as many as you would like to do. Thank you for all your help. And I miss you.